So I'm out today, guys, because I wanted to uh, show you the uh, fire steel that I've been using this year. It's the uh, MSR Strike Igniter, um, really designed for using with uh, the stoves. Um, but I've been using it just to, uh, you know, get my, my basic campfire going and that kind of thing this year. I wanted to give you a quick, quick view here anyways. Up here uh, near uh, Crystal Mountain. Kind of hard to see much um, from the ledge here that I'm at. I'll see if I can get you a quick zoom to the other side over there. There we go. Um, so, back to the, the real purpose for the video. The uh, MSR Strike Igniter. And I've got two here. I use the one so much. Um, it's just kind of half of an igniter anymore. It's just really worn down. Um, it's not the biggest. I want to say it's maybe a quarter inch by three inch. Um, it's been a great fire steel. Um, lights up really well. It's uh, fairly soft. and Got a little fly here. It's trying to sneak a peek. But um, comes with the little lanyard. It's got the uh, striker um, attached there with a bottle opener and I'll demonstrate that and my modification a little bit later here. Um, so the brand new one as it is, um, the MSR Strike Igniter. Um, I liked it enough that I bought another one so that that's speaking for itself right there. It's a uh, small pocket size, it's you know not your great big, you know, six inch, half inch diameter um, fire steel but it works very well. Um, it's a fairly soft fire steel so um, do prepare to uh, go through it quick. Um, this is just one summer so far and I'm about halfway through. Um, I do go quite a bit and I use it a lot. Okay, give you a quick demonstration here of uh, the uh, sparking capability. So not, not bad for a little tiny three inch guy. Um, like I said, it's worked pretty good for me. I've really enjoyed it. It gets things started when I need them to. And, uh, you know, sometimes I have to scrape a little filings off and then ignite the filings to get something going. Uh, here in Washington, it is really wet. And that's always a, a problem when trying to get a fire started. Okay, so the sticks that you saw down there earlier, anyways, this is a, just a small cedar branch that I found. Um, I'm going to go ahead and process that down, get us some, some uh, smaller tinder and it's really dry. I uh, shouldn't have much of a problem getting this going. Yeah, okay, so I got a little bit of tinder just using the little Benchmade Osborne 940 today. Um, greatest pocket knife ever in my opinion. But uh, here we go, got this going and let's go ahead and give it a couple of tries. Been a little difficult working around the tripod. Started to go there just for a second and then it went out. Tiniest little bits there. There we go.
There's an amazing number of times where the uh, sparks did not go where they needed to go, but uh, when they do, it, it works fairly well. I did bring my small little uh, Vargo, uh, it's one of the little Vargo titanium uh, alcohol stoves. I'm planning on making some some lunch here. I might have to share that with you as well. Uh, but there you go. That's the uh, MSR uh, Strike Igniter. And uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. Alrighty, so before I can uh, get ready to cook my meal here, I wanted to uh, show you the little modification that I had mentioned um, with this. And to do so, I've got to get both of these guys out here. And you can kind of see them side by side. And what we're looking at is this right here. Um, so what happens with this one, which is the uh, brand new one, that little lip next to the opener, I'll flip it over here, it prevents you from getting that underneath on the bottom. You just, it won't fit. So with the uh, the modified one, I had filed that off, so now you can just toss it right underneath there. And then if you need to, crack your, crack your bottle of beer open. Let's see if I can do that again here underneath the camera so you can see a little better. I don't want to actually pop the bottle open because we're holding it sideways here. <laughs> okay. So with the uh, filed off portion, we can get that to go right underneath the bottle and pop it open. Um, unfortunately with this one, this is the uh, the brand new one that red lip prevents it from being able to get underneath it just won't it won't grab on okay so for the, uh, the alcohol stove go ahead and get that going we'll get ready to toss my meal on there but uh, just running the uh, gas line antifreeze treatment there the heat Give it another minute there. I'm going to let some of that dry off, so I'll turn you back on here when I let it dry out. Alrighty, so we went ahead and I, I let a bunch of the uh, little bit of spill that I had dry up so I don't ignite everything here. Um, go ahead and uh, give the stove a, an ignite. There it goes. It take, takes a little bit for it to uh, start taking off. Um, the center of it will, will ignite, and then from there you'll kind of see the outer portions. Um, start to go. Um, hopefully you can see it. it. It's not showing up on the camera from what I'm seeing very well right now. We do have a little bit of wind here, which is not helping out the most. There you go. Now it's starting to take shape. Not sure if you can hear it there, but it does uh, does have a little bit of a hiss. Not much. And so, with uh, my meal, this is the uh, Fremont Interurban IPA. Fantastic beer. Fellow backpacker friend of mine uh, turned me on to this one. Uh, but I'm definitely a big IPA fan. Okay, so I figure I'm going to go ahead and get ready to cook my meal here. One moment. Just using a uh, can on top of the Trangia stove in order to 
cook my stuff. And all right, looks looks like it's done. Couldn't go wrong with the uh, Crystal Mountain uh, bacon cheeseburger, so I had to cheat. <laughs>